In this video, what we're going to do is set up the options for five different browsers so that you can run your tests in Sauce Labs on all these different browsers. The first thing you want to do is get rid of the new mutable capabilities instantiation and just declare the variable. Next, we're going to create a switch statement for the browser name. We're going to create four cases and one default. Each one will set up mutable capabilities or a new instance of capabilities for five different browsers. We'll set Chrome to be the default. The next thing that you're going to do is use the Selenium browser type interface to detect which one of the Selenium supported browsers is being used to run this test. Then, depending on which browser has been selected, you will use those particular browser options to set capabilities. Using browser options instead of regular old mutable capabilities is better because these are predefined sets of options for each browser depending on what they can do. Once you've set up Safari, Firefox, Internet Explorer, and Edge, you can make Chrome options your default set of capabilities. Next, in your imports, make sure that you have the Selenium browser type class imported. You'll also notice that besides the Chrome options and Firefox options that you use for your local test, we now have Internet Explorer, Safari, and Edge options imported. Now that you have the different browser options ready to use, you're ready to run your tests on different browsers and even different operating systems. The first thing you'll need to do in order to do this is go to the Sauce Labs Platform Configurator. With the Platform Configurator, you can choose the operating system as well as the browser and version that you want to run your test in, and it will return the values for the browser name, browser version, and platform name capabilities that you'll need to add to your test. Since we are using a switch statement that first detects the type of browser, in this case we'll also have to set the browser name. Make sure that you're using a browser version that is also supported by Sauce Labs listed on the platform configurator. Once you have these three variables set, you can run your tests on Sauce Labs using Maven Clean Tests. Once your tests are running, you can visit the Sauce Labs dashboard and see that your tests are running on the operating system and browser that you just set in your config file. Another way that you can run your test instead of editing the config file directly is to use the dash capital D flag to run your tests with the Maven Clean Test command. First, go to the platform configurator and figure out what the specific values are for each of those variables. When you run your test using Maven Clean Test, you simply add a dash D flag for each one of the variables, the platform name, the browser name, and the browser version, passing in the values to those variables instead of using config YAML. This is helpful when you want to run multiple instances of the same test suite using a continuous integration tool like Jenkins or GitHub Actions. Once your tests are run, you can visit the Sauce Labs dashboard and see that your tests are being run in the environment that you specified with the D flags and not what you put in config YAML.